Hi, this is Dana Esmail, News Director at WHAV in Haverhill. By the time you watch this, we'll be on 97.9 FM. And you're watching Around Town with Larry Seaman. One punch right here. Say hello. I'm Gary Lapierre. I hope some people still remember who the heck I am from way back in radio. But I'm here because WHAV was the first job that I had in radio. And I was there a very short time. I was a big star. You were, I'm sure. Because I did an obituary show. And I was fired. And when you can be fired as an obituary announcer, it sort of tells you how much talent this man really has to offer. But I gave it my best shot <laughs> and worked there just for a short time. It was right after I got out of school and then started looking. And I worked a little bit in New Hampshire and uh, very fortunate I spent a relatively short time in small town radio, which everyone should have to do as a prerequisite getting into the business. And then I was at WBC when I was 22 years old. And I spent 43 years at WBZ before I retired 10 years ago. And if you were to quickly do your math, you could figure out how old I am. So anyway, it, uh, I've had a... I've had a ask you this, what time, when was it at WTV? What year was it? Uh, 1961, for less than a year. <laughs> As I told you, it was a short stay at WBZ. You did anything at WBZ. I mean, sometimes you yeah. Yeah, at BZ I started out, I was a street reporter, and street reporters occasionally anchored newscasts. Uh, you, you're right, when you start out, you do it all. You work the graveyard shifts, you work the overnight shift, you work weekends, and all, I did all of that. Uh, but again, very fortunate, within two years, I took over the morning show with Carl DeSouz and Dave Maynard. You may remember those names from the past. I mean, uh, you got to be old enough to remember yeah. those names, right? And they were so, great personalities. Too. Yeah, they were, they were big. They must have been easy to work with. Oh, I would imagine. I'm sorry. Were they easy to work with? Oh, the best. The best. Because they were slightly older than I was, and uh, they're both deceased, God rest them. Uh, but they took me under their wing and taught me the do's and don'ts of big city radio. And to work with the likes of Dave Maynard and Carl DeSouz and uh, Don Kent was our weather guy. Joe Green was the helicopter guy. Gil Santos was the voice of the New England Patriots. He was the morning sports guy. So uh, it was it, it was a family. You're just in Boston, but I mean, half of the country at least. Oh yeah, I mean, we cover a lot of states, particularly at night, the station covers a lot of territory. And plus I did some national stuff. I used to fill in for Paul Harvey occasionally. Yeah. People would remember Paul Harvey, I'm sure. That's international, so, uh, so you're doing it all there. But, uh, I live in Florida and Ipswich, Mass. I'm just down the road a piece from here, from Haverhill. No, we come up for the summer and the timing was perfect to, to be here at this event. I'm just, I'm really happy that I could be here because as I said, I spent a relatively short time at WHAV, 
but uh, I still have great memories as what a thrill that was for me to get my first job at radio at, at WHAV, and they've, they've been a big radio station for a lot of years, and I hope they do well with their new, uh, with their new approach.